In a significant move, South Korea's HD Hyundai Heavy Industries, HDHHI, is making strides toward addressing the U.S. Navy's pressing shipbuilding capacity issues. On March 18, 2025, the company celebrated the handover of Jiangzhou the Great, the lead vessel in South Korea's next-generation Aegis destroyer series, marking a milestone for both HDHHI and the future of naval defense. During the ceremony at its Ulsan headquarters, HDHHI announced that it could potentially build up to five Aegis destroyers annually for the U.S. Navy, provided that bilateral agreements formalize this cooperation. This capability comes at a time when the U.S. faces dwindling shipyard output, making the prospect of international collaboration increasingly appealing. The U.S. Navy's current shipbuilding efforts have struggled to meet their stated need for three Arleigh Burke-class destroyers each year. With American shipyards managing only 1.6 to 1.8 ships annually, HDHHI's competitive offer stands out, especially given the company's unique capabilities in designing and constructing Aegis-equipped vessels. HDHHI remains the sole South Korean shipyard capable of integrating and testing the Aegis combat system, a crucial technology for modern warships. HDHHI's ability to construct Aegis destroyers comparable to the U.S. Navy's Arleigh Burke-class ships, and do so more efficiently and cost-effectively, has caught the attention of industry experts. The company has already delivered five of the six Aegis destroyers in South Korea's fleet, including the flagship Sejong the Great. This impressive track record positions HDHHI as a capable partner for increasing production volumes, especially as the U.S. Navy aims to enhance its fleet in the face of China's growing maritime influence. The company's Olsen facility, currently engaged in the construction of 12 surface vessels, demonstrates HDHHI's high throughput capacity. Its potential to build more ships stems from a combination of skilled engineering teams and state-of-the-art production facilities. A recent expansion into the U.S. defense market, through collaborations and efforts to secure maintenance, repair, and overhaul Merle, contracts, signals HDHHI's broader ambitions to support U.S. naval operations. At the same time, the U.S. Navy's ongoing difficulties in meeting procurement targets have raised questions about the sustainability of the current shipbuilding model. With fewer than 30 operational U.S. shipyards today, down from over 400, HDHHI's offer to increase production presents a compelling option for bolstering naval readiness. This potential partnership could be critical as the U.S. seeks to counter China's rapidly advancing naval capabilities. However, the prospect of foreign involvement in U.S. shipbuilding faces significant legal and political barriers, such as the Jones Act, which mandates that ships operating between U.S. ports be built domestically. Despite these restrictions, recent moves by the U.S. Navy, including a willingness to explore assembling ship modules abroad, suggest a shift toward greater collaboration with trusted allies, including South Korea. As the demand for Aegis-equipped destroyers continues to rise, HDHHI's continued investment in its facilities and engineering expertise will likely be a key asset for both South Korea and its U.S. partners. The outcome of this partnership, however, hinges on overcoming logistical, legal, and strategic hurdles in the coming years.